Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to determine the analytic function where the real part is given. So from this, u, that is u is given as sin 2x whole division cos h2y plus cos 2x. Let's find its partial derivative with respect to x first using the quotient rule. So the numerator differentiation is cos 2x into 2 and the denominator should be written as it is as per the quotient rule. Then minus numerator is written as it is and derivative of the denominator first term is 0 because y is treated as a constant. So cos h2y is constant. Cos 2x is minus sin 2x into 2. Whole division we have square of the denominator using the quotient rule we have completed the ux now as a next step we have to find u x of z comma 0 wherever x is there we have to replace it with z and y is 0 when this is replaced as y 0 cos 0 is 1 that is cos h into 2 into 0 which is 1 plus cos 2x and this when I multiply we get plus sin square 2z and that is also a 2 and even in the denominator this becomes 1 and plus cos 2z whole square. Now finally when I multiply this inside we get 2 cos 2z plus 2 cos square 2z plus 2 sin square 2z whole division 1 plus cos 2z whole square. Now taking 2 common this becomes First, step is, first term is 2 into cos 2z plus 2 into cos square 2z plus sin square 2z whole division 1 plus cos 2z whole square and this becomes 1 so numerator is 2 cos 2z plus 2 whole division 1 plus cos 2z whole square. Now 2 is taken common. We get in the numerator cos 2z plus 1 whole division 1 plus cos 2z whole square. After cancelling this, finally ux of z comma 0 becomes 2 by 1 plus cos 2z further this can be replaced with a trigonometric formula 1 plus cos 2z is 2 cos square z after cancelling this we can carry this to the numerator so u x of z comma 0 becomes secant square z that is 1 by cos square z is secant square z now in the same way we have to find u y so I just copied the u term for reference. Now u y partial derivative we are again follow the quotient rule derivative of the numerator is 0 because sin 2x is fully constant then into this totally anyway it is 0 minus numerator is kept as it is and derivative of the denominator this is sin h 2y into 2 and this is minus sorry this term is fully 0 because it is x we are doing derivative with respect to y so it is 0 then whole division we have denominator square so cos h 2y plus cos 2x whole square now u y of z comma 
0 wherever y is a way to put 0 when you put 0 here the entire term becomes 0 so finally f of z is u plus i v and f dash of z is u x plus i v x from CR equations u x equal to v y and u y equal to minus v x and this v x can be replaced with minus u y here. So f dash of z becomes u x minus i u y. From this by using Milne Thompson method f of z can be written as integral u x of z comma 0 d z minus i integral u y of z comma 0 d z plus c and u x we are going to replace which is secant square z integral secant square z d z and the second term is 0 because u y is 0 and we have a constant. Now f of z this integration becomes tan z plus c. Thus we got the required analytic function.